So guys, what's going on? So in today's video, we are looking at Edify's new gaming speakers. So like I said, we're looking at Edify's new gaming speakers. These are the, these are the G5000 gaming speakers, and I'm really looking forward to these let's just get into it see what we get and we'll go for the all-important sound test so just to start off where we do get a aux cable three and a half to three and a half aux obviously this is going to be for connecting your devices to the speakers all that good stuff we do get a optical cable as well so if you want to attach these up to your computer or your console you can do that so as well we do have a usb i think to a usb b as well so if we want to connect it to different devices we've got that also we do get the Audio line, this is going to connect our active speaker to our passive speaker, so that's what that's for. And then we do our, get our power supply, which is obviously in the UK, we have the three pin, and then we do have the two pin there as well. And then we do get a few other little goodies. We do get one of their cards here, this is just telling you everything about the, obviously the brand itself. We do get some stickers, remember we do have the sticker board over there, I will show you a picture now. Uh, if any companies out there want to send me some more stickers, please do. A lot of you have been getting in touch, and I appreciate it. And then we do get quite a uh, thick little uh, user manual here. This is just going to tell you everything, how to get it set it up, what each of the cables do, and you are pretty much good to go. So just while we're on the ceiling, we are going to look at uh, the speakers themselves, just from a, a higher point view. So start off by oh, start off with this speaker here. So the design they've went for, I really do enjoy. They've went, they haven't went for what their normal bookshelf ones do look like. They've went for this more of an angled design. You've got a gloss black, internals more of a, a matte black, and then the outskirts as well. So we do have our large speaker here, and on top. I don't know if it's Hecat or Hecat. I think it's Hecat, or maybe Hecat. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. Now, on the side of these speakers, we do have... The LED technology as well as gaming. Obviously, this is going to be backlight as well. So when these are powered up, I'll show you some pictures later on when we go through the specifications. And then this is all going to be lit up in RGB, which is quite nice. On the bottom here, we do have four little feet as well. These are about half an inch uh, plastic feet, but they do have rubber on the bottom. So whatever surface it's on, it's not going to damage it, which is quite nice. And then on the opposite side, same again, LED technology with the gaming uh, logo going on there. So you're able to see the rgb when i get this all up and running then on the back portion here large output there as well as the audio line in that's all you get this i think this is the passive speaker i believe so because or the slave speaker whatever you want to call it then we get the active speaker now on the back of here is where we have all our ports we have our optical ports uh coax ports aux cable the usb and then this is our other audio line which is going to connect to the other speaker we do have an on off switch as well as our power in as well with just some information on the back nothing exciting now same again we do have on the left and right we do have the gaming accents as well which is very nice but obviously this being the main speaker we do have all the ports on top of everything that's going on now here we do have our power button and then we do have four little leds above it which is the usb bluetooth aux and optical depending on which mode you are using yes these are bluetooth speakers which is quite nice and obviously you just cycle through them depending on what is plugged in now on the other side here we do have our coax, uh, our coax and then we do have three different modes now these speakers can operate in a music mode game mode or a movie mode depending what you are going to be using these uh, and then you can use that by just cycling through. It tells you in the instructions, uh, press once to cycle through. And then there's also press and hold if you want to change the RGB lighting as well. And then you can go from there. And then in the center, we just have a little volume rocker. Now, it's good to know that these speakers don't actually come with a remote. It's all held in by this little remote, this little clicker here, which just allows us to change the settings. Now they have put a lot of different functions into these speakers. I think the only downside for myself is that it doesn't come with a remote. And they do have functions on the back as well. And I like the matter of fact that the remote, I can chop and change wherever I want. Something like this, with it being maybe gaming speakers, you might have them a little bit closer, a little bit lower down, it all depends. But that's the only problem I have with them. Now I'm gonna get these hooked up uh, just so we can go through, show you the lighting, uh, show how it all works, how to get it all connected up. And then, of course, we're going to attach it up some Bluetooth and we're going to play some music. 
So I'll do that now. Okay, so I do have them plugged in. What I'm going to do is just turn off one of the lights, uh, just so it's a little bit darker in here. See from this side, obviously, first of all, we have the RGB lighting come down there, which is very nice, I have to admit. Then, like I said here, we also have the gaming logo, which is all shining in RGB. But we'll, we'll give your, I guess, your setup a little bit better feel if RGB is your go to. Can cycle through. So we can cycle through, obviously, depending on what, what type of mode we do want. But if you do hold down the, obviously, one of the first buttons, what we can do is turn the RGB off. Hold it down again, turn it back on, and the double click will allow you to cycle through the different colors. So if you want it to have a static color, that's what you can do. Just click through until you get to the one you want, and then you just get back to RGB, then you're all good. So what we need to do is play some music and see what these sound like. I'm hoping my microphone can pick this up. So it really is a simple, just go into your Bluetooth settings. They come under Edifier G5000, so you can always, you're going to know what you're connecting to. I'm going to go through YouTube and actually go through YouTube's live music because I don't want to get dev error because uh, I don't want dev error then call it I don't want to get mon uh, demonetized so what we're going to do is go through YouTube uh, live music, uh, audio library which I do really like some of the some of the songs some of the tunes on there are really cool the good thing about it is on the right hand side it will tell you whether you're allowed to use it in videos or if you have to credit someone which is quite cool Right, so I'm hoping the microphone's going to pick this up because it's it's new and it's really good at removing background noise, but it's not very good at picking up other sounds. So I'm hoping it works. Let's see what we're working with. I'm not sure if it's the song, but it does sound very crackly. Open it's the song. Open. I feel like I'm losing my mind. It was the song, don't worry about it. <laughs> Everybody in the world blind. Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's everybody in the world blind. Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Stay man, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey. Is about to say that that's at like 25, 30% volume. If I turn it up anymore, my neighbors are probably going to kill me. Um, try one more song. Try and go for something a little bit calmer. Who I am, I'm making a new plan, rearranging my life, and I won't look back ever again. Uh, you ain't see me activated. You better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, play them out, evaluated. That's how I end up on the top, man. I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon, my body is the engine. I'm never second guessing, I just do what I was destined. Cause I feel like I got the blessing, persistence in. Wow, uh, I'm not sure what to say really. Um, I'm hoping the microphone picked that up because it was. It was a really weird start because the first song I played had like crackling in it and I was thinking, oh no, the speakers, they don't react well with music. Turned out it was just a song. The other ones were absolutely incredible. As soon as it got the beat drop, I felt it. Hence why I moved back a bit because maybe in Saturday it was all getting pushed into my head. I sat back a bit, but I was still getting the, the pure surround sound as well. So guys, there we have it. That was the video regarding the Edifier G5000 gaming speakers. And I have to admit, these have been incredible. 
and I'm debating whether swapping these out to replace the Mark S, the Mark II S thousands, I believe. I'll put a link in the video description so you can check them out as well. They are ten times the size, but I don't know. I, I feel like these aesthetically look incredible. Um, they sound amazing, obviously with their high res audio, which they are they never seem to skip on. Um, and then. They just, in general, sound amazing. So I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys at home can tell me. What do you reckon I should do? Should I go with the gaming speakers? Or should I stay with the Mark S2000s? Why don't you let me know in the comment section below and we'll go from there. But by all means, if you did enjoy this video or it did help you in any way, shape or form, please do like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you do give yourself a pen and you want to drop me a comment, please do drop down the comment section below. I try my hardest to get to them all. But at the end of the day, thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.